Welcome back to the Heads Up Show. I'm Steve, and we have an amazing guest here for the second time, Deshaun Morris II, AKA Badger. What's up, man? What's up? Dude, it's so good to have you back. Yeah. We got a lot to talk about. Right. So if you didn't tune into the episode we did a year ago, go check it out. You are an impressive young guy at 12 years old. You have a lot of plans. You've achieved a lot. And we're going to do a little bit of talking. And then we're going to build this amazing helmet with your pick six, eat off the floor, custom logos, all that good stuff. Let's start with the obvious. You're wearing a little something here. You're still with the rare breeds. Right. Tell me about the rare breeds. Last time I was here, we didn't go to nationals yet. I went a little later and we won national championship. I had a pick in that game and yeah, it was just a great time. I've accomplished a lot from there, but just strictly with my team, yeah, we won national championship. And this year we're hoping we go and win it again. Let's get into Guinness Book of World Records, Italy. What is up with that, man? That experience was amazing. Um, yeah. We went down there, we were down there for about five days. Shooting, it was lights, camera, actions, just like this. Mm -hmm. um, we were down there to attempt the world record on catching one hand passes 10 yards away. How many I can get in one minute? I broke the record. Um, and so I have that Guinness World Record. It was just amazing being able to go to Milan. I can't even imagine. So how many did you catch? I did 23. 23. 23. I know it's probably a little early to talk about this, but let's talk about college. Mm -hmm. Obviously, mm -hmm. you already have some sort of a plan for college at even 12 years old. Right. Or I should say colleges have a plan for you. Yeah. Can you talk about that a little bit? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Last time I was here, I spoke on a couple colleges. I want yep. to give a shout out to Coach Kirby Smart. Um, he's really gave me a lot of access to the, just the college campus and me being able to come whenever I went to the practices and just be feel like I'm a part of the team at, and I'm a kid. I named a few colleges last time I was here, but I have another college right now that I'm really liking, and that's Notre Dame. Uh, Notre Dame is really crap up on me. Uh, it's from the movie Rudy. Okay. It's probably unexpected, but the movie Rudy, that really inspired me just watching it and see what he went through and stuff. And, uh, yeah, it was dope, and that's that's definitely another college that I'm really liking. For our viewers out there, if you're watching this show, if you know me or you know Badger, you should have already watched Rudy. Right. And if not, the second you're done watching this, go get Rudy and watch it because not only is it the story amazing, the team whole effort of what they did and they all stood right. the whole story is just amazing if right. that doesn't inspire you then we can't be friends <laughs> and, and, and that's okay right. you know right. but good for you man i'm curious to see how that goes right. what's up with high school because i know you got plans going to grayson speaking of high school i wanted to give a shout out to my future head coach coach bryant he gave me a whole lot of access to that high school cool. and the players and being on the sidelines all that so, yeah, that's the high school I'm going to. All right. Well, you give people a lot to believe in for good reason. Straight A student? Yep. Still? Yep. Okay. One of the hardest working, just visionary young guys that we know. And I keep pounding in the fact that, you know, you are only 12. Right. So the last time you were here, you spoke about you wanted to have a gym. Right. And that you wanted to motivate people through your dedication. Where are you with all that? Is that still happening? That's still happening. I've posted a lot of videos with my workouts and stuff. I've got a lot of comments, like always. A lot of kids in my inbox, what's your routine, all that. And yeah, I keep it up. Victory, it's this awesome docu-series you're working on. It's really behind the scenes of all the things that go into, not just with your dad, but with your training and all that as well. Because right. that. I want to see that, let alone all the other kids out there, I'm sure. Tell me a little bit about when is that going to come out? When can we see it? Where can we see it? And then what kind of training does it show? I want to give a shout out to my cameraman, David. He's been helping me a lot. He lives, what, five minutes from my house. And so he's just real helpful. He's young and he's hungry for filming. And he's just really helpful. It's going to come out in 2024, like the beginning of 2024. And it's really about, like, really a lot of the behind the scenes and my tics and what helps me and why I'm great. Uh, me and my dad, our relationship, that's really what's been, you know, popping over the years, our relationship, our dope relationship and how we bond. Um, it's gonna show when he gets on me, how we handle that. It's gonna show yep. when I do do good. He's okay. gonna show how he balances, how he treats me whenever I do something good or bad. You know, yeah, it's just gonna be a dope series. It's gonna be a dope series. And also the series, uh, meant to speak on this, but 
it's just gonna show how we obsessively, you know, stay consistent. Consistency is key when it comes to our relationship and how I play the game, and that goes for when I watch film, I consistently mm -hmm. watch film, and we go by the model, no days off, even on your day off, and that really just means every day I'm not, you know, say I'm, I'm, I'm having a day off and I'm not going to the gym or I'm not going to practice, I'm still going to, you know, be stretching, I'm going to be, you know, doing my housework, watching loads of film, loading up on water, just the stuff I need, so we really say that, just know that it's off even on your day off. What you're doing right now is yep. going to pay off, man. Right. It really, really is. Let's talk a little bit about your training. So last time you were here, we showed a picture of you and you, you just just shredded. Yeah. We still were we still working with that same physique. Yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> trying to upgrade every, you know, trying to yeah. get my physique looking a little better. Okay. Just to give you a scale to the audience out there, um, height, weight, where are you with all that? I'm 5'2", 105 pounds. So your body fat's probably four percent maybe at max. <laughs> I say we stop with the chit chat and start getting to the cool stuff. We're gonna build this helmet. We're gonna talk about the pieces going on here and you're gonna educate me a little bit about what all this means. Sound mm -hmm. good? Let's get into it. All right, let's do it. So we are taking this adult large matte black speed flex helmet and we are turning it into your basically brand, right? So on the back, we got these decals made, pick six and this character in here, this silhouette. Yeah, that's you. Right. Tell me about this artwork because thankfully you were able to provide this to me. I'd like to hear from you what the pick six actually means. It's really something that we got recently. It's really the highest form of contribution that a DB can, you know, contribute to the game. I'm a DB and so that's why we went by pick six. We know a guy named Presley. He made this bumper and this design, so I want to do a shout out to him. I love it, man. I think that it's it's right. great and well said for a DB. A pick six has to be the highest level of contribution because right. you are essentially a defensive player who's making a difference on the scoreboard. Right. Like when I'm on defense, I like thinking like I'm on offense. I want to score points just like the offense play, you know what I mean? Heck yeah. I'm going to put you to work. OBJ, Speed Flex face mask, beautiful choice. And we got this awesome custom visor made. Tell me about what this is. And while you're talking, I need you to pick out some stuff. Which visor clips, which face mask clips are we going to use? Come up with some decisions as you're chatting. The visor came up with the eat off the floor motto, and that really came from anybody can take that with them and apply it to their life. For me, I mean, I'm always hungry for greatness, to get better as a player and as a person. Say you're full, you drop your plate on the floor. Like, I'm the type of person, I'll be hungry, and I'm the type to come eat it. I get it, where it's like, you feeling like you want to be a little lazy. I will come right. and eat your lunch. Right. That looks sick already. I appreciate the help while I'm doing these side decals. Right. The last time you were out here, still unbelievable that was a year ago. We, we knew that we were gonna be doing something additional and I'm glad that this is what we came up with. If you're new to this show, welcome. And thank you for watching. I have Badger with me, an impressive guy. Your social media following is still growing, still getting it done. I should really mention that you are one of the few affiliates that we have for Green Gridiron, right? So it's not easy to be an affiliate for us, um, but we do have a nice program where um, if you're an influencer or a business, you can come on board and help us sell some stuff. So we're gonna throw a QR code up on the screen. And if anybody goes to the website and buys anything by using your code, it helps you out and you're gonna put that money, of course, to good use. It's not a lot, but it adds up, you know, right. and you're out there working it on your Instagram and your TikTok and hopefully on your docu-series. So cool, thank you. So when I was designing this helmet, I thought it was interesting, but I think I get what you're doing here. So even though you're Badger, you have a big following, people know you as Badger, there's nothing on this helmet for Badger. Right. And I looked at it as you're either being humble <laughs> and you didn't want to be like, look at me, or you might have some other reason. Like, can you tell me about that? Yeah, we really did that because like, 
the eat off the floor. We could have easily put it on there and we put it on the visor, but when people see that logo right there, I want them to think of eating off the floor. I want them to know that that translates to that, just like Nike. Like when you have the check, yep. it goes just with, uh, just do it. So just two things that correlate and they both come back to me. So you know where that came from. All right, that's cool. Yeah, I figured you had some sort of an answer. The best part, let's get this face mask attached. Badger, what do you think, man? It's amazing. This is it's crazy. It's I got to I got to see this thing on your head. I got to see it. Please go for it. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, it looks amazing. It's crazy. Your... This is crazy. The visor is so dark. That thing is black, man, and with that eat off the floor just right. shining on there. That thing looks tough. Best in the business. Best in the business why I come here. Best well, thank I, here. I appreciate it. I appreciate you being here and right. interviewing and spending some time with us here in Greenville. And if you want to be on this show and be like Badger, in the description of this video, you'll see the link to book your own session. It's hard to get on. Fair warning, dude, you killed it. Congratulations on everything, man. You're thank a hardworking you. guy. You deserve the success. Keep it coming. Any other shout outs or anything else you want to give, now's the time. And shout out to everybody that supports me, my family, and everybody that's got me in this moment. That's right. Well said. Thank you so much for sticking around. If you made it to the end of this video, be sure to show Badger some love. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Cheers.